this is the night wolf howling at you and today we're doing something kind of dumb uh technically i have already reviewed this figure once before but i thought hey there was a snowstorm right now why don't i go ahead and try reviewing a snow figure in the snow and see how that goes so i took the one i had a second one of and decided to give that a shot anyway we have the gi joe arctic bat I believe that this is its first appearance in G.I. Joe with the Classified series. On the front we see some of the gear. On the back we see more of the gear. Uh, he comes with a, a unique head sculpt, um, a unique chest plate, the standard chest plate and damaged chest plate, standard bat head, and what looks like a sniper rifle. And of course the chainsaw arm because he thinks he's chainsaw man. And a pistol. Anyway, it is kind of too bad they didn't give us a damaged bat head. And dear God, I am cold. On the side, we just have the side view of the figure. So let's go ahead and try opening this up. I should have cut the tape ahead of time. If this works out, I will do the Arctic Viper or the Snow Viper. And snow job also this way. Although I am very cold right now because I am sitting in a pile of snow. Well, there we have our, our Arctic bat. And of course our box of goodies. I'll start by taking him out of here. You know what? I really should have brought a stand out here with me. <laughs> Although I guess technically the snow works as a stand. Oh man, I feel so dumb right now. Alright, so let's take a look at him. He's got the standard G.I. Joe articulation with the chicken neck. His head's on a ball joint, spins around, up and down, looks side to side. If that is his eye. He's got a unique set of shoulder armor. Again, I'm not sure if these would be considered pauldrons because they are not actually attached to the shoulders themselves or the up there, but he's got the butterfly joint. He's got the hinge up and down, and this is a very tight hinge. His arm can spin all around. He's of course got the bicep swivel and his armor is moving nicely on there. This actually fits better on here than the armor does on the Masters of the Universe Origins figures like the Ninja Turtle, Donatello, or even Men at Arms. We've got the double jointed elbow. Um, the plastic, oh, well, the plastic is the same it looks like for the parts, only it's not painted. Whereupon the arm and the hinge here area is. We've got the nice robotic hand that looks like the Terminator. Spins around. Has the in and out joint, like so. Whew, God, I'm cold. Um, we've got the ab crunch, and it's nice and clickety. He's got the ball joint in the waist area. Drop down hips for added articulation, and really badass dance moves. Da, 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 da. I think I did that joke somewhere else. Anyway. We've got the thigh swivel. We've got a double jointed knee. Bit hindered by the thigh armor here with the harness on it, or the holster on it. Whew. We got a boot cut. We've got the hinge at the ankle and the spin. Uh, his thigh armor is unique to this figure, as is this head. We shall stick him back in the snow. And hopefully we won't lose his parts in the snow. Actually, let's go ahead and take his uh, tray and just set it down here out of sight. Looks like we got everything out there. We have the standard Battle Android Trooper backpack. 
Though he only comes with the one standard part being the arm. So I'll take the hand off. And, uh, well, normally I stick the hand in there, but that's kind of a loose fit on this one. Uh, stick it in there. Put that on his back. We have his chainsaw attachment. Again. Oh, well, we can also make the Ash from Evil Dead joke here, too. Actually, that would probably be more fitting. Okay. Fits in there nicely. I would say that this could be used to chop holes in the ice to help cobra ice fish. We have a pistol done in this gray color. It's too bad they didn't do it in a gunmetal gray, but we can put it in his hand or we can put it in the holster. Maybe we can put it in the holster. My fingers are starting to get a bit numb. So we have a unique gun that of course has the bend syndrome will have to be heated up which obviously is not gonna happen while I'm sitting my ass in the snow. I'm not sure why this comes off of here though, or bends like that though. I mean, it looks like it's supposedly, you know, hold in maybe other rounds that could be loaded. Because I don't see any other purpose. And these, oh, whoa, that does come off. Okay, so that's for loading the ammunition. Good to know. Oh, and it has a, uh, um, suppressor. So we can put the suppressor on there. Here is the unique chest plate that just has extra equipment for surviving in the winter. We can fit that on like so. Isn't he beautiful? We, of course, have the standard kind of Battle Android Trooper uh, chest piece. Oh god, my fingers are getting numb here. Like that. Ta-da! But wait, there's more. We then have the Battle Damage one as well. I kind of like the Battle Damage one, to be honest. But I kind of wish they would have given us some clear ones. And as mentioned before, ooh, he's got the standard bat head, which has this kind of like cool blue green fade in the, the thing. <laughs> Arctic polarized. By the way, it's really hard to swap heads on these things when everything's cold. That is something I did not think about. Can I get this back on? Yeah. So I guess, uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna risk breaking this figure because I don't know if I can still get any more of them. Uh, trying to get the head on. Besides, I can take pictures of that later. Whew. So, uh, let's take his, that off, put the sand in. Oh, shit. See, now... Yeah, it doesn't even... This is like the only spot you could hold the chainsaw in on this. And that is just too loose. It's not going to hold in there. So that's bad. But we can still have him holding his rifle. This is going to be a really quick review, and I don't think I'm going to follow up with the other two. Or if I do, maybe I'll wait till it's not snowing. 
and maybe a little bit warmer. But anyway, I mean, overall, the design for this bat is not too bad. I think I do prefer the more standard head, though, than this weird-ass looking one with a single sensor on the front. Actually, a battle damage version of this would have been kind of cool to get, too. Uh, it is disappointing that this does not work well at all for holding the uh, bat in place. But I guess... Actually, you know, this is actually pretty loose here, too, to be honest with you. No, they play with it a little bit. Though, again, this might also be because we're in the cold and it's like, uh, maybe part of the plastic is shrinking a little bit faster than the other. But anyway, I think that will do it for this quick review in the snow. I hope you've enjoyed my pain. Um, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace and love. <laughs>